Happy New Year, guys. I am back with another video. This video is a little bit different. In this video, I will be sharing with you guys um, how I make my spiritual bath for the new year. Um, in Surinamese culture, it is traditionally done before the new year hits. Um, in addition to doing this bath, you also have to do a deep cleaning of your home. Um, there should not be any dirty laundry. There shouldn't be any dirty sheets on your bed. Um, Everything in your home should be organized before the new year comes in. This is how we ensure that we have a productive and um, a productive and blessed year to come. So in Shurnmi's tradition, we typically would put um, rose petals, water, uh, Florida water, um, blue, which is what people use to clean their clothes. Um, you would also put like beer and there's some other things that people use. But for my bath, I only use water, rose, um, not rose, rose petals. Yes. Water, rose petals, Florida water. And, um, that's about it. So it's important that, um, this is done, um, before the new year, because you want to make sure that everything that, you know, was holding you down from the year before is left behind in the year and not taken over to the new year. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this video and show you what I did for my bath. So you want to start by lighting a candle in the area where you're going to be setting up your bath. Um, typically, you would really do this like in a bathroom, but for you guys, I did it like in my living room just so you can see and then I transferred it over to my bathroom. So I lit sage to like cleanse the space and then I poured water, clean water into a new bowl. Um, this bowl was purchased specifically for this. And then I dropped in some Florida water, not too much because I don't like the strong smell. Um, and then I broke some rose petals into the solution and then I just mixed it in typically you want to do this early in the morning so that the roses could really soak into the solution and then you get that rose water Florida water type smell uh, and then you want to add any jewelry that you wear year round. In this case, this is my Alacandre jewelry and my Martin Klopper earrings. I put those in a calabash because I don't want them to get like sunken down into the drain of my bath. I want to secure them in my calabash and then I mix some solution on top of that. And that's my spiritual bath. So yeah, guys, that is how I do my spiritual bath before the year is up. They call it Oru, Oru Yari in Suriname. Uh, we call it Oru Yari in Surinamese language. Um, you take this bath. It's typically, even if you use warm water, typically after the rose petals have soaked into the solution for a time, the water gets really cold. So it's a really, really cold bath. I used to hate it as a child um, because it was just really cold. Um, and then after you finish the bath, you don't dry off with a towel. You usually take a pangi, which is a fabric like this. And you wrap it around your body and you let the solution just dry on your skin. And yeah, you just wait for your blessings to come in the, the new year. That's all, you know? No, you have to do your work as well. So this bath isn't uh, uh, any magic or anything like that. It really is a, a, a tradition that we do to ensure that we are taking the right steps towards our goals in the new year. Um, we still do our, our work. We still plan. We still uh, do everything that we need to move towards the things that we want. But this is how we start our new year. Um, most Surinamese people do this. Um, everybody does it different, um, but it's tradition. You have to have a clean house and you have to have a spiritual bath. Um, before you do this bath, you need to actually take a bath, like a real bath with soap and water. And then you do this bath. You don't go into this space with, you know, 
funk from the day. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Visit my store, rutulobby.com, to see some of the products that were um, mentioned in the video. And also to get your pony, which we also sell in different colors and lengths. Um, yeah, have a happy new year, guys.